Shabbat Tov. Last week we were speaking about some of the halakhot of trapping on Shabbat. Today we'll speak about some of the halakhot with regards to insects. So, first of all, the Shulchan Aruch at the end of Siman Shem Tezayin explains that if a person has a flea on him, which in the Shana Kodesh is called a parosh, you're not allowed to trap the flea unless it's sitting on your skin and starting to bite you, starting to uh, sting you. At which point you're allowed to grab it off and throw it away. You shouldn't kill it, says the Shulchan Aruch, but you can grab it off and, and throw it away. In the next Saif, Maran says, it goes without saying, if there's a dangerous creature uh, that you see, a snake, a scorpion that you know can be deadly sometimes, the halacha is that without a question you can go and kill it, because it could be a safek pikuach nefesh. What happens if you see a creature that you know for sure is not deadly? Many times in Florida you see snakes, but many of the snakes that you see, they're not deadly at all, they're just annoying. Worst case scenario, they can just harm. The halacha is, says Maran over there, you're not allowed to kill it, unless it's chasing you. If it's chasing you, you can kill it. If it's not, you can't, unless, says the Shulchan Aruch, that you start walking and you kill it derech You step on it as you're walking, which means you kill it kil acharyad, in a nonchalant walking way, in which case it's only der banan, and that would be mutal. So now, in terms of insects in the house, what would be the halacha? If you have a regular insect in the house that doesn't, do anything, a fly, a moth, or whatever it is, bivadai, you can't kill it, you can't trap it, because they don't do anything. Open a window and let it fly out. Now, let's say if you have a, an insect in the house that is dangerous. For instance, let's say you have a wasp, or you have, let's say, a, a bee, and the Shemirat Shabbat Kin Chatah says, let's say you have somebody in the house that you know is uh, sensitive to bee stings, or to wasp stings, or even if it's a mosquito and you're in an area that's infested with uh, West Nile or with Zika or any of these viruses, the halakha is over there, you are allowed to trap it. Kedat manan, it's even better to trap than to kill. If there's no other way to get it and there's even a safek sakana, you're even allowed to kill. But even better is trapping it with a cup and taking it outside. So that's the halakha with regards to that, even if it did not bite you yet, because there is still an element of sakana. Now, what happens sometimes, I've gotten this question a lot of times before, what happens if the insect is not, uh, it's not dangerous, it's not carrying any viruses, it's not, it doesn't sting, but it's just people in the house have a severe phobia of insects, and they just start freaking out. So what's the halacha with regards to that on Shabbat? It can happen. You have a, you have a fly, you have a bee, you have, you know, you have one of these, uh, whatever it is, and, and people in the house start having severe emotional panic attacks because there's a bug in the house. It can happen. So, uh, over there, a, if a person cannot calm down, a person is not able to compose himself with this bug in the house, that also, since trapping these kinds of bugs is only in Isur Midrab Banan, because in Biminam Nitzot, these bugs are not usually caught for anything. So, it's only in Isur of trapping Midrab Banan. If people are really having panic attacks and they cannot calm down and it really disturbs the equilibrium in the house, not, you have to use your judgment, over there, when all else fails, if you have no other recourse, you are allowed to trap it and quickly throw it outside in order to restore calm in the house. But that's really, it has to be really, really extreme, and you have to use your judgment before using such a Yom Tov and Shavuot Tov.